Hey Greg, welcome to Danny's Kitchen. It's everybody's favorite cooking show where we don't cook up food. We cook up pranks. So I've already done two videos about Troom Troom before, right? They're this DIY, super fun, crafting, life hacks YouTube channel that makes just the best pranks. And I've made fun of their pranks a lot. I've made fun of just about everything about their videos. And while I've speculated about how bad their pranks would be in real life, I've never actually tried them. So that's what I'm gonna do today. So I'm not just gonna be testing any old Troom Troom pranks. Troom Troom has a new genre of pranks that they've been doing that are called edible pranks. And no, the prank is not involuntarily feeding weed to people. I thought that that might be what it was when I first read the titles, but has nothing to do with weed. In my opinion, the best pranks will make the person who's being pranked feel like they've gone insane. There's this one prank that I think exemplifies that really well. It's not by Troom Troom. It was on some foreign TV show. I remember seeing a clip of it on YouTube, but it was this tourist couple asked somebody to take a picture of them from across the street. As they were crossing the street to come back and check out the picture, a van crosses by and they hop in the van and two old people hop out without the person realizing. And then they walk back up to get the picture. It makes the dude think, wait, did I just take a picture of these people? Who the fuck are these people? Am I going insane? That's what I think a good prank should do. Troom Troom has taken a different approach to pranks. These edible pranks are not supposed to make the person who's being pranked think they're insane. It's supposed to make the person who's being pranked think their friend is insane. Let me show you this first prank as an example. My friend wants to eat my cookies. No way! Then, she takes her phone and bites off a piece of the case while talking. Wrap the phone with plastic wrap nicely. So that's the... <laughs> that's the whole prank. It's, oh, my friend won't let me have some of her cookies. I'm gonna eat my fucking phone case. And I guess the prank is just my friend's gonna think I've lost my mind because I am so hungry that I just start eating my phone case. So I bought the ingredients to do this one. So now we're gonna follow along step by step and do the dang prank. Um, first, I need my phone. Wrap the phone with plastic wrap nicely. Wrap the phone with plastic wrap nicely. Okay. Um. Oh, what the fuck? You know how they usually have like a razor thing here so that you can cut it easily? I couldn't find it. For some reason, it's, it's here. So you like wrap it around and go like that. I've never... Cooked. So wrap the phone in plastic wrap nicely. It's important that you do this nicely, like the tutorial said. Otherwise, your phone's not gonna want to stay in. You have to say, Okay, sweetheart, we're going in the plastic wrap now. Be a good girl. Okay, I wrapped it up nicely. Sprinkle a mat with powdered sugar or starch. Sprinkle a mat. Hopefully this works. Now I need powdered sugar. I probably should have got everything out before I started, but I forgot what I needed. So she said powdered sugar or starch. Not really sure what this is, but I'm gonna use this. Flour, okay, that's probably starch. You know, Troom Troom is obviously made by, I don't know if it's Russian people or Ukrainian people, and then poorly translated into English. So a lot of their times, their videos are very poorly translated and they end up using not the exact right word. And I think that's what happened here. I think they meant flour. And roll out sugar paste to get a thin layer. Roll out sugar paste to get a thin layer. Now, like I just said, Troom Troom likes to poorly translate their videos a lot. And I spent about an hour in a grocery store trying to find sugar paste. I even asked employees where the sugar paste was and they looked at me like I was insane. And then I found out that it's called fondant. Okay, roll it out. They're using a cup. I feel like a rolling pin is the right thing to use for this, but maybe I don't have a rolling pin. I'll use a cup. Man, you know what doesn't feel good? Having flour all over your hands. Feels awful, actually. It's like the worst texture. Alexa, remind me to never be a chef. I've spread it out into a, a pretty thin mass. Okay, I think I'm happy with this thickness. I got a big white blob on my tray, and I think I'm ready to wash this fucking flour off my hands. Again, feels gross. Okay, next step. Wrap it around a glass and put it onto a phone. Okay, they used a much smaller piece. Maybe I should cut some of this off. I believe a knife is the proper tool for this. Cutting and whatnot. Maybe I'm not so bad at cooking after all. Wrap it around a cup. Doop, 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 doop. Set my phone down and then just roll it on top of my phone. Really hope that that's sealed up. This is my actual phone that I use every day. So I really hope I don't fucking ruin it with sugar paste. Press the paste over the phone. Define the corners and sides. Cut off the excess. Turn over the phone and the mat together 
and fold the edges inside. Go in here. You just gotta basically karate chop it. Nobody's gonna believe this is a phone case. It's lumpy as fuck. Now I'm gonna cut off the excess, flip it around, wrap it on up. All right, it's looking like a phone case already. Yep, it's the exact shape of a phone. Wait a few hours to get the sugar paste hardened. Wait a few hours for the sugar paste to harden? My phone's in there. I didn't, I thought, I thought I was just gonna be able to take it right out or something. All right, well, let's just, uh, let's just set this prank aside to simmer and I'll, I guess I'll get my phone back at some point. While we wait for that to harden, let's move on to the next prank. This one comes from a video called 14 Funny Summer Pranks slash Prank Wars. And if you just look at the thumbnail, this is one of the pranks we're gonna be doing. It looks like, it's like a crazy ice cream cone. Like I was, you're probably wondering, how did they get that cool spiral shape on an ice cream cone? It's even dripping like a regular ice cream cone would on a nice hot summer's day. Well, I'm gonna show you exactly how to make a cool spiral ice cream cone to prank your friends. Phew, it's so hot. The best idea is to eat some ice cream. The friends give cooling surprise gifts to each other. Let's see what it is. Make a white sugar paste ball. Put the ball into a wafer cone. Pour topping onto the sugar paste ice cream. Emma gets her ice cream, but it doesn't melt. And it doesn't taste like ice cream, although it's sweet enough. Well, I don't actually cool down the way I want, but Dolly gets a surprise gift too. So the first girl gives her friend like a hard ball of sugar that's not cold, like ice cream, it doesn't melt. It's just like this hard mush instead of ice cream. But don't worry, the other friend's got a great prank that she's gonna use to get back at her friend. Let's check it out. But Dolly gets a surprise gift too. There is a light bulb cone in her package. It, so it wasn't ice cream? It's just a fucking light bulb. In the thumbnail, it was like dripping like it's ice cream. It's not really ice cream. The prank is just, hey, give your friend a light bulb. Wow, what a great prank. Your friend's expecting ice cream, and instead she bites into a glass light bulb. Gotcha! Prank! You've been got. Let's see how they pulled this prank off, because I'm, I'm pretty blown away. Hot glue a spiral light bulb into a wafer cone. Oh. Okay, they glued a light bulb into a cone. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. So I bought some cones. I bought a whole pack of ice cream cones to use one. And by use one, I mean, I'm gonna glue a fucking light bulb in it, okay? And the rest goes in the garbage. Just kidding. Well, I'm gonna save it and maybe feed it to some birds. So I forgot to buy a light bulb. I figured my parents would have one laying around. Um, but the only one I could find is this. It's a green party bowl. So maybe it's gonna be some lime colored ice cream or something. Lamp contains mercury. So whoever's getting pranked with this one's not only getting a surprise when they bite into it, but they're also gonna have mercury poisoning. That's the prank. I guess I'll put this over here to harden as well. So we got two pranks in the bag. They're hardening over there. And we got one more to go before we're ready to test these out in the real world. Let's check it out. Dolly is playing in the sand. It's so cute and innocent. Until she starts eating the sand right from a bucket. This is a great prank. I want somebody, just anybody, to think I'm insane. Is that too much to ask? So I'm gonna make them think that I'm eating sand. Grind short crust cookies in a blender. Do I have a blender? That looks like a blender. Haha! -ha. I'm not exactly sure how many I need to use to make a significant amount of sand. And just so you know, these are gluten free. So. Mmm. They're good. This is gonna be some tasty sand. Oh no. Uh. I think this might have been wet when I just used it just now. Put the crumbs into a toy bucket. I wonder if I have a bucket. There's like chunks in here, but it's hard to tell if they're unbroken cookies or just like clumps because it kind of clumps together. Oh yeah. Now this is some fake ass sand. Add a gummy seashell and a gummy starfish. Put in colorful candy drops. Okay, I couldn't find gummy seashells and gummy starfishes at my local grocery store. So I went with Werther's original Caramel hard candies. I thought that they might look like little rocks or maybe a, a grandma got so old she turned to sand leaving only her hard candies behind. I'll just put a couple in there and hopefully that makes it look more like sand and not more like candy. Okay, we're gonna stop this episode of Danny's Kitchen for a brief poll. If I started scarfing this down in front of you, would you think I was eating sand? Vote now. <laughs> Okay, 
It's looking good. Okay guys, I'm back with the phone case and it's been about five hours and this is still very soft, which is worrisome to me. It really doesn't feel any less soft than it did before. I'm kind of worried that it's never gonna dry. So I'm just going to, I'm just gonna roll with it and, and just do it. Okay. Trim the front edges. So now I sort of cut the front of the phone out. Oh no, this is, oh no, 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 no. Oh, my phone just buzzed. Well, I guess it still works, so that's good. It's looking pretty good so far. Put a regular case onto the back side and cut out a hole for the camera. Ah, of course. Cut out the old camera hole here. Fantastic. All right, let's take this baby out of the case. There we go. Yep, this totally looks like a phone case. The problem with this prank is that my phone case is black and this sugar paste is white. So I looked around the grocery store for like any kind of edible paint or dye and I found this. It's called sparkling gel and it's for writing on cakes and stuff and it's kind of glittery But I'm gonna try to use it to cover the case and make it black And I guess I'll just cover it like this See the problem is that this comes out so thinly that I, I'm gonna have to spread it around somehow And I don't have any paint brushes or anything, but I guess I can just sort of yeah, okay this is sort of working. Yeah, okay. I'm starting to get it now. I think I understand there's no fucking way this is gonna work. I finally understand. I got it now, guys. Yep, now we've got a nice black phone case that will convince just about anyone. All right, guys, well, in real Troom Troom fashion, now that the pranks are done, it's time to put them to the test and see just how good these DIY pranks are. Let's do this. Eating sand and your phone case? Watch me convince my entire family I'm insane on this episode of Troom Troom. Mother has just gotten home from a long morning shift at Starbucks and is now making food for a local homeless shelter. Watch as her idiot YouTuber son tries to prank her. Do you see what's in the sand? No. Mother laughs, embarrassed that this is the best her son could do. That looks good, Danny. You can see him. It's a prank. <laughs> I'm recording. Of course I know. Do you know I'm recording? Oh. No, but I... I assumed it was a prank, because it doesn't look like sand. <laughs> it doesn't? So you knew the second you looked at it, it wasn't sand? Well, yeah. Okay. It doesn't look like the sand, because when you were showing me it, I know what the sand looks like, because I just covered it yesterday, and it was all dirty and brown and wet. On a scale from 1 to 10, how would you rate my prank? Good execution, well thought out, lots of work, cups and all those cookies and shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Normally, I think I would freak someone out. <laughs> okay, so it's a good idea and I and good execution, but my mom knows what sand looks like, so it didn't work. Yeah. I just asked Laura to be in a video. I have to really quickly put the phone case on the phone. Danny quickly prepares the phone for the prank by putting on his homemade case. But it turns out the case didn't harden at all, and it's not sticking to the phone. Shit. All right, guys, I've got Laura with me, and we're and we're gonna do a video. So this video is about, you have to tell a story about a time that you were, got in trouble. Oh, I have to tell a story about a time I got in trouble. You're making me so nervous. It's just a regular YouTube video, what do you mean? I lied to my dad for the first time and I told him I wasn't on a trampoline when I was on a trampoline. Okay. Danny! What is that? Sorry, what? What is that? It's my phone case. Do you think it was pretty weird that I just started eating my phone case? I just, I, I, <laughs> I knew you didn't want me to tell you a story. Are you joking? It tastes really bad. I bet. So you didn't think it looked like a phone no, case? No, it looks like a, a white piece of candy. The purpose of this prank was to make you think that I was insane. Because I just started eating my phone case. Do you think that worked? <laughs> no, it didn't look like a phone case. <laughs> if you had to rate it out of 10, what would you give this prank? <laughs> it's not even a prank. <laughs> like him. The biggest part of the prank is you asked me to tell a story and you didn't want it. Okay, well that's it. That's the whole thing. Did you like it? No. Dad is trying to get some work done, but here I go, pranking again. Hey, Dad. Yeah? Do you want some ice cream? Sure. All right, here you go. That's not ice cream. It's <laughs> a light bulb. Pranked ya. We got him good, guys. That was a good prank. Did I prank you good? Uh, I've seen better pranks. It's kind of just a light bulb. I mean, it's supposed to be like ironic or surprise me or something. You weren't surprised? 
Well, that's kind of dumb. Okay. If you had to rank it from zero to ten, <laughs> I'd go with probably a two. You heard it here first, folks. Two out of ten. Slightly above Jupiter. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I forgot to record an outro for this video, so here goes. I think it's safe to say that none of the pranks work. Uh, it was a pretty interesting experiment. I think everybody in my family probably does think I'm insane now, but not because of the actual pranks, but because I thought that they might work in the first place. Anyways, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to join Greg. We're the fastest growing channel on YouTube. Please don't look that up. Thank you, Caitlin, for turning on my notifications. You are truly Greg. I'll see you guys next time with a really interesting video where I curl up into a tiny little ball and I shrink and I shrink and I just keep on shrinking till I'm, I'm the size of a little tiny poppy seed and then somebody eats me. Bye!